How you guys doing? This is Coach Dom with Try Possibilities Coaching. Welcome. I'm here discussing my Garmin Unbound, aka DK200 pack list. Uh, it's my first attempt at the DK200. I'm really stoked about doing it. I have done the Scratch Ankle XL earlier this year in March, uh, which was 170 miles. Uh, Anthony created that. It was unsupported. I had all this same gear plus a little extra stuff since it was unsupported. This one, even though it's 206 miles, it'll be my longest uh, bike ride to date. It will be supported. We'll have two aid stations where I can refuel uh, and also um, two neutral water stops so I can get extra water. This part of the um, video that I'm doing here is talking about what I'm carrying for flat tire kit, some of my food and some of my equipment that I'm using. Uh, so first up is my two spare Turbolito tubes. Uh, these are, things are really nice. They're way compact and super light. My trusty Pedro's tire lever, some zip ties, super glue. This really neat tool, super light, it's only half an ounce, is it's called a Dyna Plug. This is the Dyna Plug Racer. It has two sides, one for a small puncture, and you jab this into the tire and fill the hole if your sealant can't handle it. Uh, this one's for a bigger hole. And then I have some spare plugs there. I am using the Silka fiber um, sealant and so far I'm really loving this stuff, um, but I'm carrying this with me, just a little extra. My CO2 cartridge, I have two of those, plus an inflator head. This right here, the one-up EDC pump. This thing is really neat because it's compact. It has a, it's a high volume pump. But what it also has, all that fits inside of the pump itself, it's got a tire lever. I wouldn't recommend using this tire lever, but in an emergency, I'd rather use my Pedro's. It has a chain breaker tool and a spoke tool right here. It has your multi-tool with your hex heads, your torque heads, and a little screwdriver. But what's neat is all of this fits inside pump right there all into one I really like that the end of the pump can also unscrew and be used as an inflator head in case this inflator head goes bad uh, rounding out my flat tire kit I have some tire boots now you can use dollar bills gel wrappers on uh, trash but uh, might as well have some professional ones right here just in case I have my valve core tool I have a spare valve core, spare valve stem. Some little little patch kits. These things are pretty horrible, but in the absolute emergency, if my um, tube just develops a hole, I have these to help. And then I have my bacon strips and applicator there. Uh, moving past the tire flap kit, um, I'm carrying some spare lube. This is a synergetic lube. I have wax chains, um, once again, Silka. Uh, so far, their products have been great. And I've been really happy with them. Thanks to Jason with Ordinary Epics, um, I'm carrying in a little Visine bottle. That was a great tip uh, with a microfiber cloth around it. I have my master or my quick link pliers that can also be used um, to take off the valve stem in case you've ever had a tubeless tire and that lock nut, I think it's really um, glued on there sometimes. And so it's great having a pair of pliers to help with that. Another scent of uh, Quick Links. Oh, sorry, I forgot to mention that. I have a pair of Master Links right there underneath some tape to keep it secure there. Spare cleats. My buddy Opie, uh, when we were out on a practice ride, he uh, had a cleat break on him, so it's always a good idea to have spare cleats with you. Duct tape, little pocket knife. This one's from Gerber, super lightweight. Always carry a spare derailleur hanger. Something I learned the hard way on Skyway Epic. I always have a spare axis battery. It's my first time having electronic shifting. Um, it's been fantastic. I love the shifting, but if, it doesn't work if you don't have a battery. So I carry and make the, sure my battery is fully charged and carry a spare one. Also spare CO2, uh, CR2032 batteries for your shifter. 
some cash. I'll also take a credit card in case of emergency store stops, but I should not need that. Uh, this product is really cool from Silka. It's gear white. It's got a rough side and a smooth side. It's helped get some stuff off. And then in case it's really muddy, and right now it's showing that it's going to be, it could be a very wet, muddy year. Hopefully not, but hey, it's the weather. Who cares, right? Deal with it. You're prepared for it. The park tool. I uh, heard this was really good for getting out the mud and inside the cassette and the jockey wheels and stuff. Chopstick and a paint stick. In case it's raining, uh, I got myself a Gore Packable, the Packlight Gore, um, Gore-Tex jacket. This thing's really cool. It packs down pretty small, lightweight. Um, great cycling rain jacket. That would be well nice, well nice, will be well, well worth it uh, if it does rain. If it's raining really hard, a little shower cap to go over your helmet really helps learn this trick from doing Leadville. My clear Rock Bro sunglasses that um, transition. A buff that will be on my bike to help wipe off any sweat and keep my face relatively clean, <laughs> depending on the mud. First aid kit, I have some matches, tweezers, bandages, latex gloves, some wound care on there. Personal items, we have the baby wipes. I have some chamois butter. This Zelios product, Betwix, uh, really good stuff. Been real happy with that. Then some of my electronics. I have uh, these two lights. They're the super, super light, super cheap lights. You have to have lights on the bike at all times. So these will just be on the bike. They will not be my main lights in case I need the lights for later on. Hoping to beat the sun, but you never know. For my main sources of light, I'll have my Garmin uh, Varia Radar and Headlight uh, for on the bike. And then I'll also have my Rudy Project helmet set up with this MTC flashlight um, ready to go at the second aid station if it's looking like I need to be prepared for that. My Garmin 1040 Solar, this thing's a powerhouse. It will have the course on there for my turn-by-turn -turn directions. Uh, I'll have my power. Uh, this thing's been great, last for days and days. Something new that I picked up recently is the Garmin InReach. I use the Spot Tracker at Scratch XL. So I picked up one of these. This way you guys can track me uh, during the race and we'll send a pin every 10 minutes. I believe that's it gear wise. I'll show my um, salsa cutthroat later on with the, the gear put into it. Uh, here's my food items that I got going on from the first leg um, from the start in Eureka to mile 77. And then I'll refuel from there into the next aid station, I think around 144 and then the home stretch. All right, guys, I'm so looking forward to killing it at DK200. And I'll talk to you guys later.